is offered here at Gary Technologies um, on using Digital Project uh, as a BIM tool. Um, before we get started, uh, I want to make sure that everyone has located their Digital Project V1R4 icon on their desktop. Uh, double click it and start up Digital Project. Um, I want to get that started up. Uh, and before I start the presentation, um, I want to make sure that uh, while this is starting up and you're watching the presentation uh, briefly in the introduction, uh, that uh, you also are able to open up the quick start file. So I'm assuming everyone has downloaded the quick start, which is located on the website. Um, you should have downloaded a zip file and uh, if you unzip it uh, there's three files contained inside there. Um, the file that we want to open is the largest one, the My First Digital Project. So I'm gonna drag that in to my digital project window. Once you have it open yourself do that. I'm just gonna let it open. It takes maybe half a minute or so. So while that's starting up, um, I just want to welcome you to the second in our series. Uh, it, uh, in, this, in this webinar, we're going to be dealing with um, parametric structure, um, specifically using the architecture and structures workbench. Um, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So just Again, real briefly, uh, for those of us out there that aren't familiar with Gary Technologies, um, we've been pioneering BIM uh, since 1992, um, building uh, billing information modeling, uh, project information management, and virtual design and construction. Um, we're both a services and software company, so in addition to um, producing digital project, which is based upon the CATIA floor, format, um, we also uh, offer services uh, to various clients. So this, this series, um, <clears throat> I just want to reiterate, is going to offer, um, it's an introductory webinar series. Um, it's going to offer starting point for your exploration in the rest of Visual Project. Um, there's a lot to, to, to look into in Digital Project. Um, so you could you could really spend a lot of time um, delving into the details. <clears throat> For now, we're going to be doing an overview. Um, now, this is going to comprise of eight sessions. Um, so for the next few weeks, uh, we're going to we're going to do eight sessions um, dealing with different aspects of building a, a building information model and digital project, and also managing it. Um, the rest of the the rest of the webinar series um, will be available soon online, so that uh, very soon you'll be able to see what each which each session in the series is going to offer and sign up online. So the goals for this session in particular, um, the first is we're going to look at the types of building elements. Um, the types of digital project elements, I should say, that drive the, the model. Um, just to, to say briefly, these, these generally um, are planes, points, lines, and sketches. Uh, we'll look at each one of those. Um, these are very basic geometric elements, um, but have a very powerful connection to the model um, because of the parametric nature of digital project. Um, We'll look at how changing those elements uh, can cause a rippling effect um, because of the associative parametric uh, engine behind digital project. And the small effects in the, in the driving geometry can cause very large effects in the whole model. Um, we'll, then we'll start building slabs, columns, and beams um, within the architecture and structures workbench, which is uh, now something that's been fully released within Digital Project V1 R4. 
Um, and finally, we'll look at customizing the parameters of those of those elements um, so that uh, they can meet any kind of situation um, that you may have in your own projects. So um, we'll be taking uh, questions during the webinar. Um, uh, the our IT director here, Bob Chen, will be uh, mostly uh, managing and and uh, and um, uh, managing those questions. Uh, if we have time, um, we'll we'll try and answer what we can during the session. But just keep in mind the session uh, is going to go very quickly through um, how to build these elements, and we just have an hour, so it's it's uh, it's going to be pretty quick. Um, I. I think that um, if you're just beginning to use Digital Project, it might be a bit challenging to keep up with me, but that's okay. We're recording this. Um, you can you can always go back and review what you may have missed um, during the session. And again, if if you have any questions following the webinar, you can submit them to knowledge at gtglobal.com. And now let's uh, let's get into billing, looking at how the model is connected, and start building the geometry in the parametric structure. So when you first open the the model, uh, you probably will see uh, says an incident report. It's basically just telling you that this file is read only. Um, that's that's fine. Actually, this is an example file. Um, uh, it's a it's kept at read only. Just so that if you want to, if you want to edit this, um, you when you go to save, you'll be saving your own copy of the file. Um, this way, you have the original file to um, to view uh, unchanged. So um, I want to explain uh, briefly that each each part file. Um, if you were here last week, or if you've seen the the recordings online. Um, each file is uh, just like the the files together are organized inside products, and those products are like folders. Um, there are also folders of sorts uh, contained within part files, um, and these basically are geometric sets, which contain most of the uh, geometry, including sketches, planes, lines. Um, and then whenever you're dealing with, with uh, part body, which is solid geometry, um, that's, that's the only exception that you, when you're dealing with solid geometry, you uh, create part body. Um, so, so basically, all the driving geometry for this, this example file um, is contained within the <coughs> first part of the tree. Um, which says geometric set one, and uh, I'm going to show how, just briefly, how these elements, how you can view these elements um, in the way that they're connected to each other, um, and then we'll start by building the file from scratch. So, uh, if you ever, if you ever are curious how the elements in a file are connected, one of the easiest ways to check that is if you right click and I'm going to right click on this sketch one and go down to parents and children and basically what this is going to give me is a tree view showing this element in the center and on the left here is the element that is its parent um, in this case, this sketch is is using a plane um, to define itself, and then there are these elements um, which we'll get into in a little bit. We'll be building them ourselves. Um, are the children of this element? And if we if we double click these elements, we can go one one level higher. So this is a very easy way to kind of climb through this complex relational tree to, to 